that you're absolutely passionate about. So that's, it's always helpful to have that level of passion and connection when you start out. Oh, I think if you're creative, um, the, the reality is that's intrinsic, you will always have that. So the business is something that's got to be learned. So for me, the business papers um, are paramount to anything and that is why I channeled my own two children um, through that course because as I said, creative can come later um, as long as you actually have that skill. Really, really well. I mean, I mean, from I think as as we've we've talked to, you know, business is eighty percent about having the business knowledge and the ability to run a business. Um, from the finance and all that other stuff that goes in behind the scenes, for the marketing, the recruitment, all that stuff that you need to know. Um, and twenty percent about a product and service. So that's about being able to develop something that has real value to the market that you want to target. So you do need to have that business sensibility. It's imperative. I mean, I don't see anyone being able to drive a successful business without that. So unless you're going to go out and recruit that or employ or hire or, or contract to that, um, you know, you are going to need to have that knowledge yourself to start up with. Well, failure is the foundation stone of my success. You know, so if you're not tripping and falling, you're not trying stuff, you're not taking risk, failure is so vital to business. You know, you, if, you, if you take the skiing analogy, show me anyone that ever learned to ski without falling over. You know, if you're not falling over, you're actually not getting better at skiing. So you need to fail, you need to fail often, and you need to fail hard. I have learned so much more from my failures than I've ever learned from my successes. So get out there, guys, and fail. Um, huge. <laughs> I think the reality is, is that we never saw it creeping up um, at the pace that it was coming. We were sort of talking three to five years. But even, you know, from our point of view, we target that sort of 35 to 45-year-old woman. I mean, it's a much broader demographic than that, but let's hone in and try and identify. And so for her, she's making her selection on the internet. You know, it saves her time. She can actually go to the, her favourite internet sites and choose the product that she wants. While she's still going out there to the physical store to make the purchase, it becomes a, a destination for her rather than wandering a strip of shops and actually deciding that she needs a new frock um, and sort of by you become this happy accident because she wanders into your store. It is now about going on, doing her homework, doing her research, um, getting the perfect sort of frock that she wants for that occasion and actually going to that destination. So from the point of view of the internet being important, it's not important, it's, it's vital. You know, I believe if you're not digital now, you're not relevant. <laughs> <laughs> 